my caseload uh, consists mostly of performance horses in which we're dealing with athletes that have musculoskeletal issues, uh, whether it's lameness, uh, fractures, etc. And uh, we basically tend to them and use those uh, cases as a way to uh, teach also our students. Uh, Kelly, if we can just take him again, just at a walk again, just to record him. So basically what we end up doing is we we'll watch him walking, we'll watch him trotting, we'll use our phones or tablet to record the motion so students and owners also can see if there's a stride difference or a gait difference or a, that they will be able to recognize it rather than just say yes, 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 we see it, but they don't really understand it. That way you can just drive the concept of like, you know, you're striding too short or your flight or the height of the stride is not exactly where you want to be. When we typically teach this, you show a lameness and you say, hey, you look at this, you're looking at this and this and this, and you point and that's it. And people will nod and people, that will be it. And I will, and it was like started with a question of like, I would love to have find an application so we can have a better one-on-one, -on -one, even though there are 100 people there. So Tufts Technology sent me an application called Coach's Eye, and they actually use it originally for golfers. So the nice thing about this application is that we have a recording, we put it in there. You can show the students, okay, this is a stride that we're looking at. So you can see the difference, for example, here, how much, how much big of a gap there is. So then we also have this app that we can draw. So the student can actually go and say, oh yeah, look at this distance, and I'll look at the distance of the other one. Much shorter. So again, you start driving a point in a graphic way that they draw, they draw this. So you give, the, you, you, you make your recording, you give it to the student, and the student says, this is what I'm watching. So now it's something that they can measure, they can see, they can comment, and I don't care, your thoughts could be perfectly fine on the wrong leg, and that's fine, because we don't necessarily at that stage care whether you identify the correct leg, but you want to start building some sense of observations and commenting and be able to express an opinion without being afraid of being wrong. We have this laboratory that we just did. A lot of people, human medicine and veterinary medicine alike, don't know how to read a radiograph. And part of the problem is you have a three-dimensional structure that you're putting in a two-dimensional plane. So there's quite a bit of summation of densities, there's quite a bit of bumps and, 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 uh, and changes in the bone. We show a dog with this lameness, and then we show this area. So now we ask the student to tap into the area that they see that is abnormal. And then you can see every single tap that the student does. And you can see how most students tapped wrong areas. And then now you're talking about an area that you did not think that they would have a problem with. So you identify even things that you took for granted that they don't understand. So I do see an improvement in the quality of the discussion and what they're observing. And also, I see an improvement in us recognizing that 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 looks so logical to you is not logical to them. So take your time to explain that because you're taking it for granted and they're not. It's also a nice way to kind of self-check you know, are you teaching correctly or are you delivering concepts that, you know, this one is a very tight one or very difficult one. I'm going to record it, I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to measure, and I'm going to try to prove myself right or prove myself wrong. And, and, and that has been great. That, that has helped me, you know, uh, catch myself when I'm going in the wrong path too. And also when I think that, you know, I, am, I think I'm seeing this, then validating that, yes, I'm seeing that.